Hey everyone, this is Zev Dematos, and I'm joined by Dave Hinkle, who recently saw The Wolf Among Us, the new episodic game from Telltale coming out this fall for the Xbox 360, PS3, Mac, and PC. Uh, yeah, I got to check out the game last week running on Xbox 360. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play it. It was uh, driven by a PR person, but it was a lengthy hour and a half long demo taking place in the middle-ish area, I was told, of the first episode of uh, Planned Five Episodes. The Wolf Among Us is a prequel to the first trade of the comic book series Fables from writer Bill Willingham, right Dave? Yeah, it takes place in a modern day New York setting, uh, Brooklyn to be exact, in this area called Fable Town where all these fairy tale creatures have um, kind of taken asylum. They are exiled from their original fairy tale world. So you have, you know, classic uh, heroes and villains like the Huntsman, Big Bad Wolf, Red Riding Hood, Beauty and the Beast, all living within this one area, this one neighborhood of New York City. Hey. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. Mirror, mirror. Uh, If you're able, tell me all about this fable. Part of your written preview for The Wolf Among Us touches on the theme of redemption that people will find in the game when it comes out later this year. Uh, Yeah, you can actually read it on joystick.com right now, and you play as Bigby Wolf in The Wolf Among Us, who is, you may have guessed, uh, the big bad wolf. He's a guy who is kind of trying to escape his past, but yet he can't really do that because he has all these fantastical creatures and and people who have known him for a long time. Uh, He has to deal with them now, and his new role is Sheriff. It's kind of an uh, interesting twist for him, being an antagonist before and kind of switching over to the protagonist role. And he finds it kind of hard, at least in the hour and a half that I've seen, of uh, walking that line between being good and and falling into his old ways. There's one violent encounter with uh, the Huntsman, who you uh, may remember from some tales. That's the individual that saves uh, uh, Little Red Riding Hood from the uh, Big Bad Wolf. It's really interesting to, to watch him deal with somebody he has such a past with, because they get in a fight, and, you know, Bigby kind of almost lets his inner animal out he gets really violent it's really extreme uh but we only find out afterwards that fables are apparently very hard to kill so uh it's all justified but still to see those flashes of morality and uh you know his past self come through you can really tell that that character is dealing with a struggle since the wolf among us is a new adventure game from telltale people may have assumptions about how the game works mechanically what has evolved since the walking dead those assumptions are largely correct i mean it is an adventure game but one of the things i thought was really interesting uh in evolution was uh the qtes right like there are a lot of quick time events in the game and now whereas in past games these sequences might be kind of static so that if you fail it then you pretty much know what buttons you have to hit the next time it doesn't change um when you're fighting the Huntsman, you actually have a little variety. They, they scuffle inside of this apartment, and he can, uh, Bigby can throw the Huntsman into different objects within the environment, which will then trigger uh, smaller, like, QTE segments uh, that are a little bit different than the overall kind of arching fight. Um, but again, it's largely an adventure game, so you need to understand that you will be hitting the A button on things a bunch of times. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him. What I can say with uh, certainty is that his favorite brand of cigarettes are Huff and Puff. Get it? Huff and Puff? Get it? Huff and Puff, though? You know, the three little piggies? I get it. Your your friends at Joystick remind you that smoking is bad. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, I think my favorite part of the character is just how hooked on meth he is. It's really something I can personally identify with. (laughs) Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. 